We spoke with a woman whose shoulder was grazed in that shooting. She told us she was at the Edmund Burke School picking up a student there when she heard three loud bursts of gunfire. That woman tells us she now feels lucky to be alive. A bullet came from behind me and it grazed my shoulder. And I got up and at that point I said to myself, I need to get out of here, pulled around the corner. And I got out of my car and I'm yelling, am I shot, am I shot, am I shot? Patricia Termini would soon realize she was in fact shot. She showed us the bullet hole in her shirt and says if she hadn't ducked, she would have been badly hurt. The back of my car was broken. The window was shattered. That's my car. It's right just down the street. There's a black Kia it was with the window shot out. That's my car. And this mom says she was nearly shot too. She didn't want to show her face on camera, but was also at the school waiting to pick up kids when she heard the gunfire. But I saw people laying on the ground and there was shattered glass coming down. So I just stopped because it was just chaotic. I froze in place for good two, three minutes. And and, and, and the time it took for me to back out and come through here and there was no officer at the time and I was able to move my car from that shooting spot all the way over there before any officers even came out is shocking to me. The officers could be seen for hours searching for the shooter, at times pulling out guns and pointing them at this apartment building. I was in disbelief for the whole thing. I was like, I can't believe this is, because it did not sound like gunfire. It sounded like it, it was so loud, it sounded like explosions. And back out here live, the police presence does seem to have scaled down quite a bit. We still see a fair amount of officers, but not as many as before. They have started to open up some of the streets that were previously blocked off. Connecticut Avenue now open to traffic. It had been shut down all afternoon. Uh, we also know that shelter in place has finally been lifted at UDC. So hopefully people will start to be able to return home at some point soon. Uh, we know those people who were evacuated earlier from the Ava building had to run out with basically only the clothes on their backs. And now that Night has fallen. It has gotten quite a bit chillier out here, so you really do feel for those people who were only wearing T-shirts and shorts when they ran out. Uh, but uh, certainly still a long night ahead as that investigation is very much underway. Back into you. All right. So many close calls and chilling accounts. Amy Cho, Amy, thank you.